All right, in this video, we'll go over the steps uh, required to set up your Garmin Forerunner for heart rate training by using Garmin Connect. Garmin Connect is uh, your portal to upload all your GPS activities. This used to be motion based, but they move on to the next generation, which is Garmin Connect. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, different workouts on my dashboard. Some are using the Forerunner, and there's some other workouts that I've used uh, another Garmin product. So you can use any type of Garmin product to upload the, your track files. But in this video, we'll just focus on heart rate training. So first thing we need to do is get to the settings. And once you're in, we need to uh, adjust our personal information. So we need to make sure that we enter our correct birth date, weight, and height, and also our, our activity class. And what is activity class? Well, then this is a little class chart here. So if you're moderately active, you're somewhere between four and seven. If you're a serious athlete, you're definitely closer to 10. And once you get that all set up, you just simply need to go down to the training zones tab and you can just set up your heart rate zones. Now, the fact that we've set up our date of birth, it automatically knows what our maximum heart rate is. Now, Garmin, uh, for its training zones, uh, uses your resting heart rate to do the formula. It's not a straight percentage formula like, for example, Polar might use. For this, you got to use the um, other type of formula that uses the resting heart rate. You can do this on paper or you can just let Garmin do this. I've kind of done it both. I uh, just wanted to make sure that Garmin was setting up uh, the percentages right, and they are. So default here, all you need to do now is to set up your resting heart rate. Once that's done, everything else will be filled out automatically. And for the most part, you'll probably be working in zone 3 and zone 4, which is from 69 to 79% and zone 4 which is 80 to 87 uh, percent. Once that is done you just click on save and now that next time that you uh, connect your Garmin device to your laptop and when it when it does the sync it will download this information down to your Garmin Forerunner for example your Forerunner 405 and next time you're out ready for a workout you have an advanced workout that has heart rate training zone set up it will use these numbers to calculate it. 